Okay, so this is how she comes. It actually is a, a fairly big box. And then when you open her up, you've got your vacuum in the middle, and then you've got your hoses spread out underneath. And a couple little warnings and things. Okay, and then you take one out of the middle, and then your hoses are nice and neat underneath. And the hoses are all the same except for one, <coughs> which is the start, and it's labeled. Okay. And there's your Wanda. Um, this is a pressure tester so you can test the, the vacuum you have through your system. <coughs> and this is a pressure regulator if you need to adjust your pressure. Um, this is an, an adapter for the intake, and then you've got the, got one to tail. And honestly, I don't wouldn't even bother with the tail. I mean, you do what you want, but uh, uh, it doesn't stay in very well. Doesn't fit very well. And then we've got our Wanda, brand spanking new. Okay, let me scoot you around here so you can keep an eye on what's going on. Okay. So to disassemble Wanda, all you need is a number two Phillips. I'll go ahead and flip it over. Um, sometimes this skirt is on, sometimes it's not. One of the units I had, I, I don't remember which one, the skirt was already on, and one, the skirt had to be on. But all you do is, is there's a little track on the skirt you may not be able to see it but it fits inside these clear wheels so basically all you do is is kind of stretch it out and, and reform it to fit over the wheels there's nothing to it and there's these little flaps and the system inside makes these flap and these little feet rock back and forth and that's kind of what makes one to do her thing she just dances across the bottom of the pool um, hoping you're seeing okay Okay, so our disassembly, it's so easy. Um, all the screws are the same except for this one. Oops. And just set it aside, and you'll see a brass insert. Uh, the, there's a brass thread inside, so you know which one goes there. And the other Wanda, I've had a part, uh, oh, eight or ten times anyway, maybe more than that. And it's still fine the screws are I'll show you a little trick going back together but the screws are all all tightened up nothing's cross threaded nothing's burnt out or anything okay this little plate lifts off and then the one part that I think is unfortunate in their design I think they should have done something a little different uh, you probably can't see it on the camera I don't know if I can get to it or not underneath this flap there's two screws down in here and there's just no good way to get to them. You have to run your driver on an angle, <clears throat> but it does work. And even going back in, you just take your time uh, so you're not jump doing that. You're not jumping off the head of the screw. And just be careful because you pull on this plastic too hard or you're going to break it. Okay, so that one's out. Okay, I said there's only two kinds of screws, and I apologize, I was wrong. There's three. These screws are different than the rest, too. Okay, and then this whole thing just lifts off. And make, oops, make sure you get those screws. And there is a little jet that sits here in, inside. <clears throat> I'm going to start coughing again. It only goes one way, so you can't put it in wrong. So you can go ahead and lift that out. And to be honest, I think I've lost that. I don't think that's on the one that's out in the pool. Okay, and then this is obviously these little flappers. And 
it's the mechanism for um, doing those little teetery feet. These are, the, this is actually the, this is the action that actually makes it move. <coughs> and again, all this comes apart. You got one screw in the center, and all this will disassemble, and you can replace all these parts if you want to. And she will wear out. These little rubber feet, they will wear out. And you can buy, you can get replacements for those. Okay, and inside you've got a little, I think they call it a turbine. I hope you can see on that camera. The lighting's not very good. Uh, and that's no better. But anyway, there's a little turbine in here. And the, the turbine is functional, is, is critical. Because that's what drives um, a lot of your system. Okay, on these on these screws here, this plate that we're taking off now, there's four screws, and you'll notice that there's a bigger hole to the screw underneath. So that's for what's underneath. So we'll take out these four in the corners. Okay, one, two, three, four, and those are the same as the as some of the other screws we took out earlier. <coughs> so again, you've only got three different kinds of screws. So this lifts off, and this is just your, your bumper plate, I guess, that has your bearings on it, the, the whatever, the bumper wheel. Okay, and again, there's your turbine, you can see it a little better. And then we've got two screws. Also note there's a right and a left. And that's important for the turbine because it goes one direction. Okay, and again the same screws we just took out. So you don't have to worry about getting mixed up. Okay, and this plate will lift off, and that's just a plastic plate. <coughs> Nothing wild and crazy there. Are you seeing that? Okay. Scoot you a little bit, a little, bit, a little wider view. Okay, and there's that turp. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Losing parts here. Okay, we're going to look at this in a second. Okay, that turbine is right here. It just literally just drops in. And these bearings are loose, so you need to make sure you don't lose them. And I was trying to remember if there was a right and a left marked on these. Now the turbine, the water's going through back here. You can see where the water outlet is back there. So the water's hitting that and turning it. So that'll show you what direction. If you try, try and put it in the other way, then the water's hitting the back of it and isn't going to do much. And again, these uh, bearings are also keyed. There's a little tab on top of the um, turbine here. And so the bearings are keyed to fit in there. Oh, and there's the, the right and the left. There's a right right here. I don't see a left. Okay, oh, and there's a little notch up here. The, the pin on this one sits in that little notch. So again, you really can't do it backwards. And again, the outside of that bearing is keyed as well. So the... Where's the notch for that? I'm not sure the outside notch matters. Yep, there's a little tab on the top of this for the the notch or for the key on the outside. <clears throat> so that little notch on the bearing has to go to the top and engage the top of that. It's it sounds more complicated than it is. It really isn't. Just make sure you keep your rights and lefts and uh, everything keys so you know it's in the right place.
and that just drops in with the little notches up top, little notches straight up here. That's it for that. Okay. Let's set that aside. And then this <coughs> is what makes your change direction. And we'll open this up in a sec, but while I'm here, there's a little plastic bushing that goes on here. Excuse me, and then this sits right on there. It's square. It doesn't matter which direction it's going because it goes around in circles. Uh, wrong way. And see it turning? Okay, so the water's going through this little port and it exhausts out here and it turns this. And this is a valve that opens and closes these little holes up here. If we take these two screws off, oh, and these are going to be different, so we got another type of screw. Okay, so we're up to four types of screws. And so we lift this off. And I think they actually call this a turbine. And there's another little gear right down under there. This screen comes off. You can clean that screen out if you need to. Uh, I guess we'll take the other thing off while we're here. And the water just comes through these little tabs, there are slots, and spins this, and then there's a little gear on the bottom of that, that spins this gear right here, <coughs> and this is all part of the mechanism that makes, uh, makes one to turn. Okay, make sure you don't lose your parts. Just take your time. So Wanda is essentially just a mechanical robot. Uh, she randomly scoots around the pool and uh, it's all controlled by, the, the drive is all controlled by these mechanical systems here. <coughs> and it's very, very effective. Okay, and then this lifts out. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to keep it organized here so I can show you. And Okay. And this is the, the main gear on top that turns Wanda. And this is your, your water intake here. I'm trying to stay on screen. That's your water intake. And there's your, your main gear that goes on top. And this is the only tricky part of reassembling because you have to do this part upside down because your parts are going to fall over. You'll lose your parts. Where'd it go? There it is. So one, two, three, four. So we did end up with five different screws. Okay, and you've got a gear that runs through. It's assembled with a little screw, so this one doesn't come apart. But again, this is all online. You can get these parts if you need them. And there's a little pin there that this upper gear goes on uh, this way. And this is what engages the big plastic one on top. So this is the, the system that turns Wanda so she doesn't get stuck in corners and things. And then your reassembly. This is the part that's the trick uh, because these are going to fall apart. Uh, this gear is going to fall off. So I wonder... I don't know that I've actually ever figured out this trick. I've only had to take this part apart, uh, uh, disassemble it once. Okay, so, oops, she's going to go right up the center. Okay. Now there's one really important key when you're putting this back together. 
Now all your threads are plastic. So in order to keep your threads in good shape, uh, boy, I don't know if I can show you this. It's as much feel as C. Okay, when you start your threads, start your screws, drop it in the hole, and turn it backwards until you hear it click. And then that's the screw dropping down into the existing thread. If you just go ahead and start the screw, it's going to probably cut new threads. There's a good chance it'll it'll want to cut new threads. So you want to make sure you keep the same threads that, that were there before. So you get your screw in and turn it backwards till it drops. Hear that? Okay. And then it should just thread in nice and smooth. If it if it doesn't thread in easily, then don't keep going. Just stop and, and start again. And set the screw in the hole. Hear that? You hear your click? Turn it backwards till it clicks. And then it should screw in nice and easy. And again, drop the screw in, go backwards, wait for that drop, and then run it in. That's the biggest key for assembling this, just to, to preserve those threads. And it doesn't need to be tight, just snug. Yes, snug. Okay. And don't forget you've got this filter goes in the back, and it's just a screen. And I always have to think about which way is up. Let's see. Am I backwards? Oh, yeah, there's... There's a little notch right there in the top. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little notch up here, and the notch on top goes in that. And then it's keyed over here, so you can't go wrong with that. There you go. You just got to think about it. And then we got to put our turbine thing back together. And again, this is going to be going to tend to drop out. You may need to flip it over to put this back in. Oh, maybe not, because we got. Oh yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay, so we're just going to kind of stand it up here a little bit. Okay, I got to go over farther. And again, everything is keyed. You really can't go wrong as far as where the parts are going. Uh, I think it's these short screws. And again, backwards till it drops. And backwards till it drops. Okay. And then let's see. Is this this big thing okay remember what we talked about we've got it has to go this way this pin is going to go right down in there and then these bearings are already on they're they're keyed to go on the shaft they'll only go one way and then the notch comes to the top so we're going to just literally flip it over and we'll engage those there there's one we'll turn the bearings until those engage and they are then we can hold it from the top so it won't fall out when we flip it. And we got to watch this because it's going to want to fall off. Uh, we may want to, I think I'll take the top shell and just bring it all together. Uh, turn this around so you can see, sorry. Make sure your bearings are keyed in. And don't forget this little this little wheel is going right over top of these, and that's your valve to open and close those. <coughs> open and close these. There you go. There you go. And this should spin freely.
And this will only go one way. The screws won't line up going the other way. Okay. Okay, make sure your screw's running nice and easy. And just snug. No pressure. Okay. Your two little screws under the tab, under this tab, are up here. And it does take a little fooling around to get it figured out, no question. Uh, let's see. And then these two little screws up here. And don't forget, stainless steel is not magnetized, so you can't use a magnet to get those in there. These are a challenge. Um, and I don't remember how I did it. Oh, look at that. Just dropped right in. And again, run them backwards until they drop. And snug. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do these others so I can drop that. Okay, so then the plate goes on. I'm going to leave that off. I don't remember using this before. I don't think that's on the other one. Heck, I don't know. I guess I'll put it on. <laughs> These seem too long, but it should be right. Okay, and my flaps are working, so I just need to get that one screw out of there. Okay, there's one, back to you. And this top should spin very slowly. You hear all the gears running inside. So that should be assembled properly. The one I did, my, originally when it came, this would only spin one direction. The first, first Wanda, that would only spin one direction, but... Uh, this one's working fine. 
And if you want her tail, it just snaps on. That's it. It doesn't fit very well. That's it. And then on the hoses. One with the orange tag goes on the top. See, that just doesn't work very well. Uh, the one with the orange tag goes on top of Wanda. And then this goes in your your um, overflow in your pickup tube and just drop the hose down inside that. So this will adjust to several sizes, obviously. And that's all there is to it. And your hoses, just a symbol like that. Just a slip fitting. And uh, just make sure you've got enough hose that Wanda can easily reach around the pool. And that's all there is to uh, tearing her down and rebuilding her. So as always YouTube, I hope these videos are helpful and I hope it's good information. I hope you'll like and subscribe and uh, I'll put some links down below for anything that might be helpful for you. You guys have a great day. Have a great summer.